Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel, Regular Learning Academy. I am Dr. Krishna Sarkar, Department of Electrical Engineering. Here in this session, I will be going to discuss about state space analysis, state variable modeling from transfer function, and example number eight by using parallel decomposition technique. This is lecture series on state space analysis lecture number 20. This is lecture number 20. So example eight by parallel decomposition technique. What is the example? Obtain the state variable and state diagram and draw signal flow graph by parallel decomposition method. Y s by U s equals to one by S cube plus nine S square plus 26 S plus 24. This is our transfer function, where y s equals to system output and u of s equals to system input. And this input may be step, ramp, parabolic impulse, any type of input can apply. Now what is the solution? The given transfer function can be written as, this is the y s by u s equals to one by s cube plus nine s square plus 26 s plus 24. So put f of s equals to s cube plus 9s square plus 26s plus 24. By using parallel decomposition technique, first calculate state equation, then state matrix, draw state diagram, signal flow graph, and at last stability of these systems. This is our target. So fs equals to function, function equals to denominator s cube plus 9s square plus 26s plus 24 put s is equal to minus 2 and this is vanished. So that's why one roots s plus 2, s plus 2, s plus 2, s plus 2, and another root s plus 4 and s plus 3. Another roots means s is equal to minus 4, minus 3, and s is equal to minus 2. So what is the actual transfer function by partial fraction form? Y s by u s equals to 1 by s plus 2, s plus 4, and s plus 3. This is the transfer function. So put A by S plus 2 plus B by S plus 3 and C by S plus 4. This is the partial fraction form. A by S plus 2, B by S plus 3, C by S plus 4. This is equation number 1. So first calculate A, B and C. A equals to what? A equals to S plus 2, S plus 2 cancel and this is half. B equals to minus one and c equals to half. You can calculate any method. Just calculate a, b, and c. So put here a, b, and c value. Then we get y s by u s equals to a by s plus two plus b by s plus three plus c by s plus four. And multiplying both side by u s and left hand side y of s right hand side a into u s by s plus 2 plus b into u s by s plus 3 plus c into u s by s plus 4. Now putting a equals to half, b equals to minus 1 and c equals to 2. Already proved a, b, c value in equation 1. And we get half into u s by s plus 2 plus minus 1 of b value minus 1, u s by s plus 3 plus half into u s by s plus 4. Then y s equals to what? y s equals to this and put u s by s plus 2 equals to z1 s and u s by s plus 3 equals to z2 s and u s by s plus 4 equals to z3 s in equation 1 or equation 2. This is equation 2. So y s equals to what? y s equals to half into z1 s. This is half and this is equal to z1 s and minus, this is minus Z2S, this is Z2S plus half into Z3S, this is half into Z3S. This is equation number three. Then case number one. What is the case one? Z1S equals to US by S plus two. Z1S equals to US by S plus two cross multiplying. Z1S into S plus two into Z1S equals to U of S. That's cross, cross multiply and taking, this is the, equation s into z1 s plus 2 into z1 s equals to u of s 
taking inverse Laplace transform of the equation four, and we get, this is the first order differential equation. That's why d z1 t by dt plus two into z1 t equals to e of t. And this is the output of the equation z1 t. And this is position, and this is the velocity. So z1 t state variable, put z1 t equals to x1, taking differentiation, differentiation both side, and we get z1 dot t equals to x1. So put here x1 dot plus two into x1 equals to u of t. So calculate x1 dot x1 dot equals to minus two x1 plus u of t. And similarly, case number two, z2s equals to us by s plus 10. Again, cross multiplication, s into z2s plus three into z2s, then taking inverse Laplace transform, and we get dz2 t by dt2 dt plus three into z2 t equals to u of t. Again, u t equals to input and z2 t equals to output of the system. And this output, this is the position, this is the velocity position, taking the state variable. So z2 t equals to what? Well, z2 t equals to x2 state variable. Then taking z trans, taking differentiation both side and we get z2 dot t equals to x2 dot. Taking, this is the differentiation terms. Then put here, this is x2 dot plus 3 into x2 equals to u of t. Then x2 dot equals to minus 3x2 plus u of t. This is the x2 dot. Similarly, case number three, Z2s equals to US by S plus four, US by S plus four. So again, multiplying both sides, S into Z3s plus four into Z3s equals to U of S and taking Z transform, uh, say taking inverse Laplace transform both sides, taking inverse Laplace transform both sides and we get, this is the first order differentiation equation. That's why DZ3t by DT, plus four into Z3 T equals to E of T again, put Z3 T equals to state variable X3 and taking the state variable Z3 T equals to X3 and differentiate both sides, X3 dot T equals to X3 dot, put here X3 dot plus four into X3, then you get X3 dot, what is the X3 dot? X3 dot equals to minus four X3 plus E of T, this is equation number, 12, the state equations can be represented as follows. So this is equals to x1 dot minus 2x1, others value zero plus ut, and a minus x2 dot equals to minus 3x3 dot. So zero into x1 plus minus three into, minus three into x2 plus zero into x3 plus u of t. Similarly, x3 dot equals to minus four into x3. That means x1 coefficient zero, x2 coefficient zero plus u of U of T, these three equations are called state equation. So these three equations are called state equation, x1 dot, x2 dot, and x3 dot. The state matrix can be represented as follows. Left-hand side, x1 dot, x2 dot, x3 dot, and right-hand side, minus two, zero, 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 minus three, zero, 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 minus four, and x1, x2, x3, plus one, 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 U of T and this is the diagonal matrix, and diagonal matrix means it's the roots of the characteristics equation, minus two, minus three, and minus four. And if B matrix, one, 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 then this is controllable. So X dot equals to X plus B, this is the state equation because left-hand side differentiation terms and right-hand side free of differentiation terms. So X dot equals to X one dot plus X two dot plus X three dot, and A equals to this matrix, and B equals to this matrix, this matrix, one, 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 and U equals to U of T, X equals to X1, X2, and X3. This is the state equations. What is the output equation? Where X T is the, is the N cross one state vector. A is the constant system matrix of order N cross N, and B is the input coupling matrix of order N cross R, and U is the N cross R, R cross one matrix. This is input matrix. And X dot equals to X plus DU is called the state equation. Again, Y equals to CX plus DU, where C equals to what? X equals to what? And D equals to what? 
y is the m cross 1 output matrix and c is m cross n system matrix d is m cross r transmission matrix y equals to cx plus d is called the output equation here m equals to 1 here the output equation is y equals to what half of z1t minus z2t plus half of z3t that's why x1 minus x2 plus half of x3 this is the state output equation so yt equals to half into x1 minus 1 into x2 half into x3 state space analysis now comparing with equation then we get a and b and y so a equals to this matrix b equals to 1 1 1 c equals to half minus 1 and half and d is null matrix so yeah d equals to 0 so output matrix y equals to c into x state diagram state diagram then from state equations so three state equation x1 dot x2 dot and x3 dot <coughs> draw state diagram what is the state diagram this is the state diagram so last equation suppose this is the starting equation suppose x1 dot x1 dot equals to what minus 2 into x1 x1 dot integrate x1 so minus 2 into x1 so x1 dot equals to this is my x1 this is minus 2 so minus 2 into x1 plus u of t this is u of t so first equation complete second equation x2 dot x2 dot equals to what x2 dot equals to integrate x2 dot equals to minus 3x2 plus u of t integrate this is x2 so minus 3 into x2 minus 3 this is x2 minus 3 into x2 plus u of t and dot 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 this is x3 dot x3 dot equals to minus 4x3 plus u of t so this is x3 dot integrate x3 is minus 4 into x3 minus 4 into x3 plus u of t so this is the state diagram of the system thank you thank you